Hey everybody, welcome to Trina Killick Designs. If you're new to my page, my name is Trina. I'm the owner and designer here at Trina Kulik Designs, where I teach other ladies how to cut and paint their own wooden door hangers. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to paint a cute Easter bunny. Now, under this um, under this post, there was a link, not a link, yeah, kind of, probably was a link, but I provided y'all with a template for this bunny. So when you get on here, how about hop on and tell me, hey, um, let me know what you're doing today. So this is the bunny template that I provided for you. I know it was like last minute. You're probably thinking, how in the world does that girl expect me to run out there and cut that thing that fast? But um, I did it. I was like, you know what? I've got to run out there, get that thing cut. So it is possible. So y'all get your tails out there and get it cut. Y'all paint with me. Or I hope that y'all did anyway. Hey, Christine. Um, so I've already got mine cut out and we are going to get it painted. Mine's off um, using the quarter inch wood. Uh, hey girl, it's all set up by the way. Yay! Okay, so one thing too is y'all, my inside scoop is open for new members and I'm super excited. So I wanted to hop on here as well just to paint something with you and let's talk all the things about what goes on in my inside scoop. Hey Pamela, thank you so much for sprinkling the love. That I appreciate that so much. So yeah, y'all sprinkle the love to any and everybody on Facebook. Hey Miss Brenda. So I'm gonna be talking while I'm painting about the inside scoop. And if y'all have any questions at all, y'all be sure to comment below. Y'all overlook that mess back there. It's just, it's just the way it is. <laughs> Good morning. Regina, hey Miss Frances, I'm trying to pull it up on my computer so I can see your comments because once I pull my camera down, I'm not going to be able to see too much of what y'all are saying. Okay, we're all set. All right, so I'm going to scoot y'all down. Thank you, Jam. Oh, uh, is it Jamma for sprinkling? I appreciate that. So let me try to get y'all y'all straight. I'm going to get you kind of straight on to the bunny so you don't have to really see nothing else but the bunny all right all right so we're going to get started so the first thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go ahead and put a white coat of paint on top of um the bunny to begin with that's going to be our base coat i enjoy your lives but i don't do seasonal holiday crafts i would love to see more everyday decor love your sprinkle thank you miss tracy Yeah, I like to hit all the holidays too. I mean, um, I do have some, let me see. Like I did that arbory hoop thingy. That was a holiday. Um, where do you get your templates? Trina, I make my templates and I also have a lady named Miss Jackie. Um, she owns the creative, little creative blessings. I think that's what it's called. I get her names confused every time I try to say it. But she's also create some of my templates for me. Oh goodness, let me get my white paint open. I'm about out of white paint, y'all. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let me. I got my another camera up here recording for a time lapse. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna get a good coat of white on here. I'm gonna start off by using my one and a half inch brush. Y'all, I usually paint the sides. But I'm just going to skip all that today just for the sake of getting the video done. So I won't have y'all on here forever in a day. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my flat tip, one and a half inch brush, and go ahead and put a really good smooth coat of white on here. We're going to add some different colors. Some, I'm going to be using pastel colors. Um just to kind of put some designs and I'm thinking about some flowers. So if you got this bunny and you're gonna paint it, how are you gonna paint your bunny? Let me know. Let me know your ideas on how you think that you may wind up painting yours. Hey Erin and Miss 
Kim. I like all the things every day and every seasonal. Me too, Kim. Thank you, Brandy. Hey, Erica. Rena, I love watching your videos. Thank you, ladies, so much. I'm so glad that y'all are here with me. Where did you get that big bunny? Lori, I cut this one out this morning, and I did provide a link to be able to, um, for y'all that y'all can just click on and print the template out. It's a PDF, and it's a template from made from Block Poster. So all you have to do is just hit the, hit on that, um, that link, and then print out, and, um, if you're, if you're kind of lost on what I'm talking about, uh, then you definitely need to join my inside scoop. But I cut this one out probably about 30 minutes ago. I'm getting a really good coat of white. So y'all, let's talk inside scoop. If you're new to my page and you don't know what I'm talking about when I say inside scoop, my inside scoop is my monthly subscription group that I have. And I teach ladies how to use a jigsaw and cut and paint their own wooden door hangers. Um, I have a lot of fun in there with those ladies. So what the inside scoop is when you join, this is what you're going to get. Let me go ahead and just get to what, what you will get by joining the inside scoop. So each month you will get two templates. Um, for instance, like something like this that you can print out and cut at home. And I do have a option to where if you don't want to cut, I do have a bundle membership to where I will ship you the actual door hanger um, to you, the two door, two door hangers that we do each month. I cannot talk this morning, y'all. This might not have been a, the perfect day to come live and try to talk because my words just ain't coming out. I'm getting all tied tongue and confused about what I'm trying to say. But we also do two crafts. I mean, not two crafts. We also do a craft together. And um, you get provided all the, the color list, the supply list, and everything for everything that we're going to be doing in that class. We have some special guests come in sometimes, you know, like once a month and teach us different techniques or either, you know, paint a door hanger with us. It's super, super fun. you got a community of ladies in there that just, you know, is thriving and you know learning can't wait to get started and they're like your own little cheerleaders um i do i've started doing business and i know some people is like i don't want anything to do with business all i want is just crafting painting and having fun well you don't have to even worry about the business part of the group if you don't want to um you can totally skip all of the business stuff and just watch your fun stuff if you want to but I just wanted to provide something for everybody's needs so for those that's in there and that you know decided to start a business I wanted to make sure that I could provide to them some tips and tricks to help them kind of move along to to actually start a business and be successful so but like I said if you're not into the whole business and you, you just want to keep this fun and a hobby you know, you can totally just skip all of the business stuff. What kind of wood do you use? Cheryl, this is, um, hey, Jessica. This is just quarter inch Revolution plywood. All right, so we're going to give this a good little dry. Thank you, Barbara. Would you sell this when finished? Colleen, um, oh, goodness. Uh, Maddie, do you sell one already cut out? I do not as of right now, but I'm thinking about putting that back on my website. I got a scroll saw for Valentine's Day. Yay, Trina. You're welcome, Brandy. Good morning, Trina. Debbie from Missouri. Have the bunny cut out. Actually, I did four of them. Oh, wow. You are on a roll, Miss Debbie. Doing them for my, for my daughters and daughter-in-laws. You are on a roll, girlfriend. Yay. Do I sell the these bunnies plain? Uh, like I said, I don't right now, but um, I will be soon. Good morning, Miss Shelly. I'm so glad I can still watch you here since I had to leave the inside scoop. 
but I would really miss all the great teaching ideas, crafts, and talks in the scoop. Miss Shelly, don't you worry about that. You can definitely still catch me here. Just starting out with painting, door hangers, DIY crafting, and I've been doing a lot of research. I always end up watching all of your stuff. Love your work. Oh, thank you so much, Melanie. Is it Melody or Melena? How do you enlarge the templates? Terry, you can go into Block Poster and use your, um, as long as you have the JPEG image, and you can play with the sizes in Block Poster and get them to the size that you, that you want. All right, so we're going to give this a good little dry. Brandy, it is $37 a month to join just a regular membership. Um, if you want to do the bundle, that one's $67. That's making your templates out to be $10 a piece and $10 shipping. Took you surfing. Yay, Jessica. Jessica took me surfing. <laughs> Cor Jessica, I like corny. I like corny, so... Pamela, I got you, girl. We need to be part of your page room. Won't let me download the block poster. PJ, you shouldn't be. You should be able just to click it and it, sh it should open. Does anybody else have problems with getting the template? Two peas in the pod. There you go. <laughs> Two peas in the pod. There you go. All right, we're just giving this a good little dry. Okay. So now my next step is going to be, I'm going to add some color. I still see some places with the wood coming through. So I'm, I'm going to go over that real quick, y'all. I can't, I can't leave that like that. Stuff like that bothers me. So I'm going to go ahead and just get that wood covered. I can, I don't know. I don't like to see my wood coming through. <laughs> and in some spots, I can see it. I guess my paint's not thicken some of the areas so we're just gonna put another thin coat on top of this and that should do it i love watching you are so down to earth thank you maddie good morning from gainesville georgia good morning ann trina you are so awesome thank you y'all are awesome appreciate y'all being here with me and chatting with me and sprinkling the love and taking me surfing The one thin, another thin little coat. Usually, y'all, I get my edges. I can't remember who it was that asked if I would sell this once it's done. I would not feel comfortable selling it without getting my edges. Just because I always get my edges. And for the sake of this video, I'm skipping that part because just to, so we don't be on here forever in a day. I have been out of town and missed a lot, but can I order the bunny already cut out? Miss Faye, I'm going to work on getting the um, blanks added back in my shop. I used to do the blanks and then I quit because um, it was a little bit overwhelming for me because I do hand cut all of mine. Uh, I don't have a laser. I wish I did, but <laughs> I'm just not in the situation to where I, I've got a laser yet, so... In which I love cutting too, so. But I'm gonna work on that for y'all. Yes, Miss Joanna, the template is totally free. The one that I posted this morning for this one. All you have to do, you should be able to just click it and be able to print it out. Someone said they was having problems with it, but um, I'm not sure why it would be doing that. All right, we're just giving it a good another dry. This is going to be a really simple design, y'all. We're not going to go overboard and put, like, no big old time with doing, like, different designs. And 
nothing hard really. So what I'm gonna do now, y'all, is I've got all kinds of pastel colors. I asked on my page earlier this um maybe last week if y'all like bright colors for Easter or pastels, and several of you, like most of you, said pastels. And I am down with you because I do like pastels for Easter. So I'm gonna use some pastel colors. You're welcome. Good morning, Jeannie. So I'm gonna start off with this lavender. And y'all, we're just gonna come and we're gonna put, making sure it's dry. My little foot down here is not dry. Let me dry it a little bit more. Okay. Oh, I got glitter too, y'all. I might do a gold glitter tail on it. So are you saying the template is already to full size? Yes, Terry. All you have to do is print it out and then you will have, this is, when you click that link that I provided or the block poster, it is for this right here. I mean, you have to cut the design out of your pieces of paper that you put together, but this is, it's already sized for this size here. Um, I would tell you, now I'm, I like bigger door hangers, y'all. I don't like the little small door hangers. So any, probably anytime I do templates, they're gonna be the size that I like. Like this one's 28 inches long, but now it's not that wide. It's a little over 19 inches wide. Like the widest point is, is his feet. Emma, you like both? You like the bright and pastels? Good morning, Sherry. All right, so I'm gonna take my lavender. I'm gonna use this chip brush. This is just, it's, this is like the regular chip brushes like you get from Walmart. This one's, um, I kinda let the paint dry up. But that's all this is. It's just a little bit more of a fancier brush that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, but it does the same thing as those chip brushes that I normally use from Walmart. So I'm gonna take my lavender. I'm gonna get some on my, my chip brush here. Just gonna pat it off. And I'm gonna come and I'm gonna streak this up with my lavender. I'm gonna try to go with the flow of my bunny, you know, just up and down. And I'm just gonna put this in spots. Just like that. It's not gonna take much at all of each of these colors. Now I'm gonna grab my baby pink. I'm having good trouble finding the bunny pattern. Uh, Cindy, it should be right below this live here. Oh, and I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all want to find out any more information about my inside scoop, you can comment the word link, and my bot will send you a message with that uh, um, with the information on that. Caught you live, yay, Reba. Good morning, Olivia. A projector works well to enlarge the drawings on heavier poster board versus um, pick pieces piecing it together. So yes, um, I've actually got a tutorial in my inside scoop about using a projector to make your own templates. Um, it's funny because before block poster came along when I first started my business, that's what I used was a projector to get make my templates. So this is the baby pink and we're gonna do the same process that I did with my lavender. Just gonna get it up in spots. If you want it darker in it, an area, you know, totally go ahead and just hit it in that spot that you want a little bit darker or a little bit more. See how I did that there and then down here. So I do want a little bit more pink, like bigger spots of pink. This is not showing up too good on my computer, so I hope y'all can see it a little bit better than I can. You had a baby in August that, oh, wait a minute. I had a baby in August that passed away and made small door hangers for his grave. Oh, Amanda, I'm so sorry to hear that. But yeah, these decks, you could, they are very cute to um, make for um, grave sites because I did make one. The only thing with that is you, how do you spray it, Amanda, to where it, it holds up with wood? Do you make them out of wood? I'm so sorry to hear about that. I will, Mm 
Reba, I know I'm excited. I just found it. Thank you. Yay, Sandy. I'm so glad that you found it. Emma, there isn't a link. Um... I will have to check. Is anybody else not seeing the link? It's not in the description. It's not on this post. It's not on this live, but it's under this, like it's a whole different post by itself. Where do you find a projector to use? Miss Mary, I got mine from Hobby Lobby. I love the shape of that bunny. Thank you for sharing with us. You're welcome, Miss Cindy. I hope that y'all enjoy this. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everybody. You too, Emma. Okay, now I've got some shoreline paint, or it's called shoreline, that's the color. And I'm gonna add some of that. It's like a really light blue. And I'm not rinsing my brush out or anything. I'm just using, using the same one and going with it. Not, um, not too much worrying about if my colors mix or not. So we're gonna add some blue. I need some more blue there. All right. This kind of almost looks like, you know what would have been cute? Would have been cute to do splatter paint. And we may do that. Now I'm gonna grab up some yellow. Thank you, Patricia. Hey, Miss Peggy. Miss Peggy Peggy. So yeah, just comment link if you wanna learn more about my inside scoop. Um, tomorrow is the last day to join. We're just gonna add a little bit of yellow. I'm just kind of picking out and using all of the spring looking colors and making them pastels. Okay. So that's it for that. Can y'all see that? Isn't that pretty? And so simple. It's definitely not a difficult thing to do. Hello from Ohio. Iowa. Looks so cute. Thank you, Julie. Hey, Eve. Shows up very well. Okay, yay, Debbie. I'm glad that y'all can see that. Thank you. It keeps my mind busy and keeps me a little sane. Amanda, I'm so sorry. Oh, I hate to even hear that. You got it, PJ? I will sign into my Google. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I'm so glad that you got it. You clear coat, you clear coat them with spray paint. Okay. You see it, found the link, and it's, yay, it worked. All right. Amanda, you are getting a lot of love from my viewers. Thank you, ladies, so much. See, that's what this, that's what I want this to all be, like, to be about is everybody just supporting, and if some somebody has some bad news, just, you know, be there and just try to help them out and make them feel better. So you y'all ladies are awesome. Jessica says I love splatter paint. I think I'm I may try splatter paint, Jessica. Hey Amy. Alright, y'all. There's a lot of comments that I'm probably not seeing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. Let's see. Y'all, I wanna have I think I'm gonna do some flowers, some very simple um flowers. So I'm gonna grab a round tip brush gonna grab this round tip brush here and we're gonna go in we're gonna make some flowers now let me see do I, I think I'm gonna just grab a darker color pink I'm gonna do this nope no I'm not yes I am I don't know let me look at some more pink show um I like this wild berry I'm gonna grab this wild berry y'all and we're gonna put some very simple easy flowers on here have compassion, yes, prayers for you. Paula, there you go. I would love to see people having compassion for someone else. Prayers and hugs to you ladies that have lost their babies. Oh, yo, I know. All right, so this is Wild Berry. And I'm going to come and let's see. 
I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put like a little flower here. So all I'm gonna do is I kinda like to start like, doing like kinda like a parenthesis thing, y'all. And then just kinda work my way around. Just like that. Gonna try to go off of it to make it look like that flower is kind of kind of like coming off of it. Not gonna leave it just like that. We're gonna add more stuff. Um, let me put. I'm gonna put one like right here too. Not gonna do this one quite as big. Just like that. Then we're gonna put one up here on the top. These is just very easy, easy flowers, y'all. You don't have to think about them a lot. Um, don't have to stress over them. We're gonna fill them. We're gonna fill them in as well. Like maybe with some a lighter color. Just like that. Oh my God, you made that look so easy. It is easy. Miss Cheryl or Cherie. Cheryl, Cheryl. Oh, thank you, Miss Shelley. You are so amazing. Okay, let's do, I'm gonna have its tail right here. So I'm gonna kinda start one here and we're gonna kinda make it go off the side as well. Just like that. And then let's do, let's do kind of a big one over here on its little foot. But yeah, these are flowers that you just, you don't think about a lot and you just kinda go with the flow and let it make its own little shape of a flower. Like the easiest flower ever. Okay. All right, so if we have the tail here, let's put, I don't know y'all, maybe we need to put one, let's put one like right here. It don't have to be a big one. Let's just kind of make it small. We make that one small. We kind of make a small one here too. And then let's kind of make a small one here. I'm trying to like even it all out by doing the little small ones. Um, let's put like a little small one here. Okay. So we're going to stop there with those. I need to try my hand at those flowers because I'm not good at drawing flowers. Mary, I'm not good at drawing flowers. Y'all, these are literally like the easiest thing ever that I've ever tried to do when it comes to flowers. I mean, they, I'm going to get you a little bit closer just so you don't think that they're as perfect as they may look. Because y'all, look at that. I mean, there's nothing perfect about those flowers at all. Literally, I'm gonna get, let me get, I'm gonna get a piece of paper and I'm gonna get up really close. I might could zoom my, I'm gonna get up like, let me see if I can zoom it. I can zoom it in my group. There we go. See how those are? Y'all watch this. This is literally all I just did. And when y'all see this, y'all be thinking, oh. So we just start here and you literally, this is a round tip brush. 
I load that brush up really, really good. And then I just start like going, making literally like little commas everywhere. Just making little commas. Hit, getting on top of each other and just kind of filling it in and leaving that white background just to kind of, kind of make some highlights for it. But y'all, that's it. That is it. Just like that. That is all I was doing. That's it. They may not be perfect, but they look like it. <laughs> you make it look so easy. So yeah, definitely give it a try, y'all. Don't overthink it. That's when you start messing up when you're, you're painting. You overthink it. Y'all look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, let's see. Thank you, Delta, for sprinkling the love. I appreciate that. So I don't want to get too, I wonder if I want to add white. Let me see if I want to add white or maybe a light pink. Let's go with the light pink instead of add white because I do have some white. No, I need some darker. I need some darker. Let me get a red. I'm gonna grab up this flamenco red and we're just gonna come, we're gonna add a little bit to those flowers just to give them a little bit more dimension. It's so cute. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Mitzi and Barbara, Miss Peggy. All right, I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm gonna dip into that flamenco red and I'm just gonna come and try to give it just a little bit more dimension, depth in those flowers. Just a little bit. We're not going to go crazy with it. Because I do want to keep it kind of on the, the pastel side. But just a little bit. Just to add a little bit more. Yeah, and see, and stuff like this is learned in my inside scoop. So if it's something that you think that you might really like to learn how to do, y'all... Then give me, give me a month. Join me for a month just to see if you think that the inside scoop is something that you would enjoy. Because y'all, it's a monthly subscription, but you can cancel anytime. We'll definitely not hold you in there. All right. You can kind of put some kind of on the outside to kind of outline it. Just add some here and there. Do very easy strokes. Um, just looking just to see if we need to cover up some of that white. But see how like the background white color just makes it kind of pop more. So if I didn't have that white background color, I would probably grab my white. And do some white highlights in there. Shade of red did you use again? Uh, Kim, that was the Flamenco Red by Apple Barrel. Is this the same bunny from the three-week class? No, Mitzi, this is not. The one that we did with the three-week class, it, it was holding like little carrots. Hey, Marine. Having trouble with printing, is there a trick? Mm, they sh No, you should just be able to hit the print button and um... Thank you, Miss Joyce. Miss Cindy says, just print out the bunny. It's so cute. Yay! You're welcome, Kim. Alright, so we're gonna do the funky little tail here. Now, I gave you the template for this, so if y'all are not familiar, like we're using graphite paper, like let all of this dry, and because y'all, for beginners, some beginners may not even want to try to attempt to draw that tail on there. But you can use graphite paper or carbon paper and put it down on your template after this is dry, then put your template back on there and then trace out the tail, and then you'll have your pattern there that you can just trace over and paint away. 
All right. So, y'all, I think I'm going to glitter up. I think I'm going to add gold. I think I'm going to do gold. A gold tail. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me some gold paint. Hey, this Diane and Regina. Me too. I can't get it to print. Oh, no, Mary. Do a touch of baby pink. Oh, okay. Miss Debbie says, do a touch of baby pink in my flowers. So, let's try that out. See, I'm all up for suggestions. So, anytime y'all have something, an idea, y'all let me know. Because I will surely try it out. Let's get some pink going. Oh, what was you talking about now? A do a touch of baby pink. You're talking about on the flowers, right, Miss Debbie? Okay, we're doing a touch of baby pink on the flowers. I may even come and add some like little leaves or little um like twigs all right so there's some baby pink that baby pink didn't make it pop debbie it made it pop more didn't it oh i forgot one i see one right there that i didn't get i didn't hit with the pink yeah that baby pink made it pop more so i'm so glad you that you um said that that pink is making them pop. Yes, Shelly, I think so too. Are you ladies trying to print from your cell or on a PC? I had to print from my laptop. It wouldn't print from my cell phone. Oh, thank you, Kim. Hey, Miss Linda. You're so much fun. I'm showing my coworkers right now. Oh, thank you, Pam. Girl, you are talented. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, ladies. I had to copy the link, then paste it into Google and print it out. Okay. The leaves, twigs will be nice, too. So, yeah, so try if you're trying on your, your phone, switch to a laptop or computer and see if that makes a difference. And then someone said they had to copy and paste the link and put it into Google for it to work. So you can try it that way as well. Isn't it funny how it works for some and it works differently for someone else? Technology is great when it's when it's great, but when it's not, it's a little bit aggravating. He is so cute. Thank you, Christine. Like the, the pink added. Alright, Les, I'm gonna get the spring green here. This is kind of a kind of a bright green so I'm going to add some white to it just to lighten it up some so let's add some white to it because I want it to be more of a pastel green rather than a, a bright green so I'm just lightening that up We're going to keep this pretty simple. I grabbed the wrong brush. I'm going to grab an angle brush. And then I'm going to do like some really... Ooh, that was wet. <laughs> that was wet. I'm going to do some really simple little leaves. Um, Like coming like right here. Just really simple little leaves. And I'm not going to do many of them. I'm just going to kind of... Kind of leave it to where it's um just like that let's widen that one a little bit because that's kind of a bigger flower just like that hey sylvia thank you thank you amy this is so cute you're very talented Trina. thank you sherry how true it is about technology oh. And I'm not a techie person anyway, so when technology is given, like not working the way it was supposed to work, it's it's a challenge for me. It's a challenge because I'm like, really, I don't have to tell know what I'm doing anyway. Then you're gonna 
at crazy on my tail. All right, very simple little leaves, y'all. This is another thing. Don't stress over them. This has got to be, this is supposed to be like a fun little design to where we're randomly just putting things. These are not even being filled in too good. Just kind of going with it. Um, let's see. Let's put one here. I'm not gonna, I don't know, I could add like a little tiny little leaf. Like on, on where my, my, on my little flowers. So let's add like the tiny little leaves there. Add a tiny one here. Let's add a tiny, kind of a little one up there. Just like that, something simple and easy. Um, we're just looking, trying to see like where we can add one. I'm gonna spread that out a little bit. My paint was kind of caked up. And we're gonna put one up here on the top. Okay, so now let's add some twirls. Who wants to add some twirls just to kind of make it go in? Oh, Danny, Danny, well, you, you're here now. Hey, girl, how you doing? Hey, where's Mar Maria? Where did you get the bunny? Um, Judy, um, it's a template that I did, and I've actually posted it uh, up under here that you can print out for free and paint along with me if you wanted to. I'm going to grab up some just some white paint, and we're going to go in those green leaves just a little bit to highlight them. So let me grab me some white paint right here. And we're just gonna kind of like quickly, literally, y'all, just kind of highlight them a little bit. Very fast, not taking a lot of time on them. Just to kind of give a little bit more dimension and stuff in those leaves. A little bit more color going on. Just like that. And then if you want to add a darker green to it, you can totally add a darker green. You can add like a black outline. Love it. Are you going to add a bow? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. How do you print it out? You should be able just to click it and hit the print button. It should like automatically pull it up and be able to hit just like a little print, a little it looks like a little printer on there and you just hit that and that should be all you have to do all right so i'm going to get a smaller round tip brush and we're going to do some little green twirls let me find a good little a good round tip brush because i don't want these to be too big i want them to kind of be kind of small so i've just got this is a size two round tip brush. I'm gonna swirl, swirl it into my paint. And again, y'all to um, comment the word link and you will be able to get a little, the link to get more information about how to join my inside scoop. So I'm just coming and I'm gonna put like little swirls, just coming here and there off, off of these little flowers. This bunny is quickly filling up, isn't it? Very simple little swirls. All right. Your nails are looking so good. Oh, thank you, Terry. I actually got them painted, or I painted them myself, and I never do any kind of anything to my nails because of this, because I paint, I get paint all over them, and 
Like that one's already chipping off. It like started chipping off this, the same night that I painted them. I was trying to get that in some water, but I can't get it in there. But thank you. The template is down in, um, you know what? Let me see. Christine, are you still on here? If my VA Christine is still on here, um, I can get, see if Christine can send you, if she can like get it going in my bot to where all you have to do is like comment the word template. So Christine is, let me take, let me message her real quick and let me see if she can do that. So y'all give me just a minute and cause it'll probably make it a whole lot easier. Let's see. Hey. Okay. Can you add a keyword for them to receive the, the template? So y'all hold tight. I'm going to ask her if she can get that straight. I only paint my toes because, wait a minute, what'd you say about your toes, girl? I only paint my toes because of the same thing. <laughs> Miss Kathy, you make it look so easy. I'm not seeing where to get the bunny. Okay, let me see what my VA says and see if she can get it straight. And if she can, then um, maybe, Lord knows y'all, that message I sent her was a hot mess. She might can set it up while I'm still live here to see if she can do a keyword for y'all. Let's see. So, so they can get the template in their inbox. All right. So I've messaged her. Let me see what she says. Maybe she let me know something before we get off of here. Thank y'all so much for sprinkling the love. I appreciate that so much. Okay, so let me find some gold. We're going to do a gold tail. Um, I'm just going to use this metallic um, metallic gold from Apple Barrel. And I'm going to put a cute little tail right here. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Teresa. First time watching. So glad I found you. Well, yay, Miss Judy. I'm so glad that you're here. All right, I'm just going to grab up, this is the 5-8 red triangle brush. I'm going to grab this gold, and I'm just going to comb y'all, and I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a tail. And this right here, y'all, no, it does not look, don't look all fancy at all, and you're probably thinking that that gold's not showing up, but I'm going to... I'm just using this gold really as a, like a background, because I'm going to put the glitter all over this little tail here. So all I need that gold is to have a background so my glitter can uh, cover up better. So Teresa, oh Teresa, you're, you're so sweet, thank you. So, Teresa just put the bunny template in the comments that you sh might can, like, try it from there. So, maybe that'll work. Come on, computer. What you doing? Why are you not loving on me? Okay. I just painted mine. Had to do it on my... Oh, you just printed yours. Had to do it on my computer. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you was able to print it out, Miss Mary. All right. Gel polish is the best. I'm a retired hairstylist and nail tech. I have my own gel lid, LED light, or lid light, which I do my own with. But with, but we'll say Sally Henson has a gel polish that does stay on for up to 10 days. Ooh, yeah, I definitely have to try that then. All right, so Christine is um should be getting back with me, ladies. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, y'all, is I do want to have a black 
I don't know, do I want to have a, I want to have a black outline around my tail. So I'm going to go out and grab some black. And I'm going to put a black outline around this gold. All right, so we're going to put a black outline there, there. I'm going to straighten that up. Just like that. I think I may put, I don't know, y'all. I'm going to put some lines, some highlights with the black. I just feel like it needs... It needs something else, like to bring it all out. And black just, black seems to always do the trick. Okay. I'm even going to do it like some on my, my leaves, very quick. Not even full outlines, just very, um, very fast little lines around those leaves. Just to kind of make it all come together. Y'all see how this whole bunny, the whole plan kind of changed out? That it was going to be very simple and pastel colors and wasn't going to make a big deal out of. <laughs> well, y'all see that it's like quickly changed over. Now it looks more... I mean, it's Easter, but now it kind of looks more summer colors than what my intentions were. But that's one thing that I love. Love being able to just to, just to start something and just go with whatever pops in my head. I love it. So cute. She is such a cutie. Thanks. Upside down. Kind of looks like a little... Bear maybe kicking up the right leg. Oh, you know what? I could reverse this, y'all. Let me see. I could make y'all to where it's not upside down for y'all. Wait a minute, y'all. I know I'm probably looking funky. Okay, is that better? Is that better? Now it's the right way. I should have flipped it a long time ago, shouldn't I? All right. All right, so I'm going to get Mod Podge, y'all, and I'm going to do Mod Podge on my gold here, and then I'm going to sprinkle my gold glitter on there. Oh, I don't know if I like that view better or not, y'all. That view kind of, I don't know. I don't like that view. From my computer, it makes it look like it, I don't know, you can't see it like flat. So I'm going to flip that thing back over. Okay. Creativity is a constant work in progress. Yes, Kim. I totally agree. All right. So, I'm going to grab me a paintbrush, and I'm going to add Mod Podge on my tail. And what I'm going to do, y'all, is I'm going to try not to get it ooh, around. Um... I'm trying not to get it, like, on my black outline, and I'm just going to do the gold glitter inside of my black outline. So, let's go ahead and let's get that. So, I'm just going to go around it. And it, well, I kind of went in my black there. But it's okay because that glitter is going to cover it right up. And it doesn't even have to be, I'm smearing black everywhere. It doesn't even have to be completely to the edge of that black. Yeah, my black kind of smeared everywhere. So, we're definitely going to have to cover this up with, with glitter for sure. Okay. So, let's add our glitter. This is just the chunky glitter from Walmart. All right, so what I like to do is when I put my glitter on there, I kind of press it with my fingers just so it'll get good and 
like really stuck to that Mod Podge. So I'm just pressing it good so it can stick on there. Hey Lizzie. Refab Pictures is showing up on your post. Hmm. I need you, I, I need to start doing lives, but I'm terrified. Miss Lynn, I have done so, I've done a lot of lives and I'm still scared every time when I mash that go live button. You just have to do it and just not think about it too much. All right, so y'all, y'all give me a second. I'm gonna run in my kitchen and I'm gonna knock this extra, you know what? No, I'm not. I will do it right here with y'all. I will knock it off in this plate here. So I'm just going to flip it and now I'm going to kind of knock it off. All right. So there's our glitter bunny tail. Thank you, Naoma. Naomi or Naoma. Think I may have all the supplies now to just get a cutout. There you go, Miss Kathy. That's such a good idea. I just love it. Thank you, Amanda. I think it would have been cute with a cotton tail. Nancy, it would have been cute with a cotton tail. Absolutely. All right. So somebody asked me if I was gonna put a bow on here. Um, if I if I did put a bow, I might would put one like here or either like here. What time is it? How long have I been on here? Do y'all want to make a bow? Do y'all want to make a bow? Do y'all want to build a snowman? <laughs> Love the idea of a cottontail. Trina, you amaze me. You are a great, you are great at everything. Oh, thank you, Rose. I appreciate that. No bow. Bow would look cute on the ear. She is so cute. Why not try it? Very nice. Okay, let's try to make a bow real quick, and let's see what we have going on. So first thing, when you're trying to figure out what bow, is you need to figure out what colors you want. Now, since I have, because I'm one, I love using different patterns. I don't like just to use a solid color ribbon for bows. I like to mix up my patterns. I like to mix up like chevron. I like to mix up buffalo check. I love to mix up polka dots and put it all together in one bow. But then sometimes if you have a lot going on, doing that makes it just too much. So with this particular design, being that we got the glitter tail here, we've got the flowers and we got the vines, and then we have all this other color, I'm thinking somewhat of more of a um, solid bow that don't have a lot of color. Um, let's see, I don't know y'all, let's see. Would y'all want? Let's see if we did just a burlap bow. Bow on hanger, bow at the neck. Love this bunny, she's adorable. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, of course, y'all know I got some buffalo plaid. But I don't know if that buffalo plaid too much goes with this pattern. So, I think the buffalo plaid, buffalo plaid will be a little too much. Burlap, no bow with the tail in the front. If a bow puts on the side of the ear. <gasps> Miss Pat, you, that totally makes sense. So Miss Pat says that since this is the back of the bunny, you really don't need a bow. I mean, if it was the front of the bunny, then that you could totally put a bow. So yeah, I'm not doing no bow, y'all, because that totally makes so much sense because it's the back of the bunny. It looks Victor Victorian, any lace ribbon. Uh, will you be at Tamara's live event next week? Miss Pam, um, I will not. 
I know you ladies are going to have so much fun. But no, right now my kiddos are just a little too small. And um, maybe, when, maybe in the next year I could start getting out and doing things and going places and doing events. But right now with the kiddos, there's just, there's no way. All right, so y'all, here it is. I'm going to flip it this way so y'all can kind of see it. So there, y'all see the sparkling? But yeah, y'all ladies are going to have so much fun. Tamara has all kind of little fun goodies and stuff for y'all to do. And it's just going, y'all going to have a good old time. I can't be, I can't wait to hear everybody's stories and stuff when y'all get back. Just to tell everybody what y'all doing and how much fun it was. I know I'm going to miss out. All right, ladies, thank you so much. Remember... The last day to sign up for my inside scoop is tomorrow, so you don't want to miss out. It's so much fun. You receive two templates a month. You get a, a tutorial on getting your templates cut out with a jigsaw. You get tutorials on painting both of your templates. We also do a craft each month. You will get provided a list of a list of um supplies needed for each craft you get a supply a paint color supply list for each door hanger that we do um for the month of march we have a guest coming in that's going to teach us how to do how to use vinyl stencils to apply to your door hangers uh we're going to be doing some more etsy training talking about seo so if you're um like doing a business all that's really good, and if you don't want to, if you're like not interested at all, and you just want to have fun and paint and craft, then you totally just skip all the business part and just watch the fun stuff. So just because there's business in there doesn't mean that it's going to be boring and it's going to be all about business. I mean, it's it's an amazing group. We have a lot of fun, and I cannot wait for y'all to hop on board and join us. Uh, Miss Deborah, the pattern is the link. There's someone, uh, Miss Teresa posted it in the comments here, but there is the post right up under here. Why is my computer like gotten going in slow mode? Um, there's a post right up under here that you can click on and get it. What kind of jigsaw blade do you use? Miss Terry, I use the Bosch um, T-shaped blades, the 20 TPIs, and the scroll cut. Yeah, and you can just comment the word link to get all the information about my inside scoop. All right, ladies, I'm going to hop off of here. Thank you all so much for joining me and helping me paint this cute little bunny. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all's name come across telling me that y'all joined my inside scoop. All right, I will see y'all again tomorrow, ladies. All right, thanks so much. Oh.